Good evening, this is over Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series uh, Understanding Black Music History Part 317, February 12th Let's get into it, February 12th The number one R&B song in 1955 was Pledging My Love by Johnny Ace February 12th, 1955 Fast Domino chart with Thinking of You Eventually reaching number 14 R&B Which would have been pretty good for most acts But it was the first Fast Domino single to not make the top 10 and 12 tries. To make up for it, Domino went on another streak of 14 straight top 10 R&B hits, starting with Don't You Know and ending with Blue Monday, which gave him 25 of his first 26 singles in the top 10. February 12, 1957, the Coasters recorded their two-sided hit, Searching, which is number three pop, number one R&B, and Youngblood, number eight pop, number one R&B, at Hollywood Recorders in Los Angeles. February 12, 1960, Little Anthony and the Imperials, Chuck Berry, Baby Washington, and the Mellow Kings performed at the New York's Apollo Theater. The Mellow Kings were white, but they were being booked at black venues because their recordings like the rock and roll standards tonight, tonight, sound like the work of a black group. February 12, 1966, Stevie Wonder reached number one for five weeks, and number three popped up tight, Everything Was Right, Everything Is Alright, and number 14 is British chart debut, where he will become one of the most popular American artists of all time, charting 54 times through 1991. Stevie Wonder once said, people at school told me I couldn't make it, that I end up making pop holders. February 12, 1993, Maxi Priest, Cuddy Ranks, and the Railers performed at the Bob Marley Day Festival Tribute at Long Beach, California's Long Beach Arena. 1997, February 12. Michael Jackson's wife, Debbie, gave birth to a son named Price. Prince Michael Jackson. The National Enquirer paid $2 million for rights to photos of Prince Michael and that was just for North America. 2000, February 12th. The tenor saxophonist who gained fame singing the blues in his coffin, Screaming Jay Hawkins, died in Paris, France. Known for his hit, I Put a Spell on You. He passed away at age 70. And finally, in 2001, February 12th, Leroy Sanders, bass singer for the 50s. Groups, the upfronts, the Pelicans, the Cubans died, and Sanders and other members of the Cubans were chosen to sing back up for Carl Burnett, Anna hit those oldies but giddies. The group became Little Caesar and the Romans. Sanders also performed with various members of the Drifters, Platters, and Coasters. This concludes a look at part 217 of Honest Day in Black Music History. The most thing that took place in Black Music History, please like, subscribe. And like the channel, like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. I'll do the smack too tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.